Hello, Evelyn McKnight, One Arm University. My dear friend Marianne is with me today and we're meeting for lunch. It's such a treat. We live a thousand miles apart, but every once in a while we get together and uh, we share stories and learn from each other how to live this life with just one arm. So today we're eating out and we're talking about that experience, uh, some tricks that we've learned to help us go out to eat in a restaurant. When you're choosing your dining options, consider going to a restaurant that you sit down and you are served rather than going through a buffet line uh, because maneuvering that tray with one hand is really difficult to do. Trying to balance your plates on the tray, trying to hold the tray, uh, it's just difficult to manage that tray situation. Uh, also family style meals may not be easy for you either because of having to pass the, the plates and, and pass the um, dishes and that and especially if they're hot and that sort of thing. One restaurant that I like to go to um, sometimes by myself is Panera and they usually put your food on a tray which is difficult to carry with one hand. So what I've learned to do is when I'm ordering I tell the representative that I am going to dine in but I would like my food in a bag. So they put the food in the bag for me, I go sit down and it's much easier. That way I can just take it out of the bag. The bag is much um, easier to carry than a tray would be. When eating out at a restaurant, uh, some things to consider bringing with you are your nork. Uh, we talked about this before, it's the special knife and fork together that you can use to cut things with. Um, chicken, meat, even a baked potato, it's handy. I also always have a pair of scissors with me. I think these are little child sized scissors that fit in my purse for opening all kinds of things that you might need at a restaurant. Straw, ketchup packets, dressing packets, um, you name it. These are handy to have. Another thing to consider bringing is the silicone mat that we've talked about before. If you put that down under your plate, it keeps your plate from sliding around. One thing I have noticed when I first had my arm, uh, lost my arm, I went to a restaurant with a friend and I wanted a cheeseburger. Well, it came and I realized I've never ordered a cheeseburger before when I didn't have two arms. So it was really difficult to try and pick it up with one hand because things would slide off. So what I did was take my nork and I just decided to take the top bun off the cheeseburger and cut the meat into pieces. And I could even cut the bun if I wanted to eat the bun as well. So same, same food, still delicious, just a different way to eat it. Some foods are just harder to cut up than other foods. Um, so you might have trouble you know, cutting meat or even some vegetables. So consider ordering things that are easier to cut like um, pasta or fish or even order soup. Um, salads are pretty easy to eat with a, with a fork. But again, that nork comes in handy if you're just in the mood for a steak or something that would be harder to cut up. But you, can, you have many options on a menu for what you can um, do independently. Another thing I've noticed that is challenging at a restaurant is bread or rolls that come before a meal. So just even pulling the bread apart into pieces, sometimes they bring you the olive oil to dip in. So I usually just have whoever I'm with um, tear that into pieces for me. If it's something that needs to be buttered, that's a challenge. A lot of restaurants, especially if I have pancakes, will bring the little foil packets of butter, which are difficult to open with one hand and then very difficult to spread onto the pancakes. So I've in the past just had whoever I'm with help me with that, but I've also thought now of asking the server if they could put the butter in a bowl uh, already unwrapped for me. So that, that's something to consider as well. Even for potatoes, they might do that as well. Um, also, 
One thing I've noticed doesn't have to do with eating, but some restaurants I've been into, especially at airports, but in some restaurants as well, the soap dispensers are made for people with two hands. So it's a pump where you have to pump the soap and then put your other hand under to catch it. Um, I was a little stymied when I first encountered that and thought, what am I gonna do? I can't wash my hands. A good reason to carry hand sanitizer with you. But in that instance, I asked the lady next to me if she would just pump the soap for me. So just something to consider. You might run into that. If you anticipate having some trouble in the restaurant, cutting up your meat or vegetables, uh, you might consider having a conversation with your dining companion ahead of time. Uh, it might be easier to do that ahead of time rather than right there at the table when the food is in front of you so that they aren't caught off guard. And I've found universally people are really eager to help. So I think that no one will balk at that in any way. Um, but sometimes we find ourselves in situations where we're alone and we want to be independent and, and be able to feel like we can go out to eat by ourselves. So uh, you might ask your waiter to relay a request to the chef to cut the meat or, or vegetables into bite-sized pieces before it is brought to the table. That's a great idea. Yeah. I never thought of that. No. And if they do that for you, if they give you any special service in any way, opening butter packets, anything, um, reflect that in your gratitude. Be thankful. Marianne, remember the last time we were together? At in, the barbecue place. Yes, yes. At the restaurant. Our waiter was very attentive to us, a nice young man. And at the end, uh, Marianne said to him, do you have any, you know, are you curious about us? Why two one-armed women are here together? We're not a very common sight. And he said, well, I, I've been wondering about it. I've been talking to my coworkers, and we, we thought either there's a convention of one-armed people, or he thought, you know, I thought maybe you two are co-joined twins at birth. <laughs> <laughs> and when we were separated, we both ended up with just one arm. <laughs> Which really, we had a good laugh. yeah, it could have worked because, it, you know, we, you'll, I'll show you a picture of us um, standing next to each other. We are, we are mirror. Right, I have my right arm and she has her right. left arm. Right, so it could have happened except that Marianne's about, I don't know, four <laughs> inches taller than me and... 50 that, pounds lighter. <laughs> that would have been pretty awkward to be conjoined. Yes. <laughs> and so maybe our lot in life isn't so bad, huh? Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to laugh. It is. We're ready to dig in. We're really excited to have mm -hmm. this independence of uh, going out to eat on our own. And uh, thank you for joining us in One Arm University. Please add your comments, like, share. Uh, tell us about your experiences, what you've learned, how to make life easier with this life with just one arm. So see you, you. next time. Bye-bye. Goodbye. You.